Hello everyone. Uh, hi, is that a bug? And welcome to the chat. Mary X X X I X X. I had to quickly grab something to eat, but I am now here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start streaming the game. I just realized I gotta fix this window. And I made a lot of progress since I last streamed Cookie Run Kingdom, so that means hopefully we'll be able to complete um, chapter 17 and move on to chapter 18 because I think I've done enough in the game where it's like, oh god, I, I have nothing else to do but to play the two chapters. So... Let's get started with that, shall we? Okay, and I will turn on the audio for this stream. Normally I have it off for me off stream because I watch YouTube videos and shit while I do my shenanigans, my in-game shenanigans. And I'll buy stamina jelly, so we have all of that good to go all right let's go ahead and get started with this and this is now bugging me I noticed the edge is like showing hang on you scoundrel there we go now that's fixed now it looks good now it won't piss my little brain off <laughs> and thank you thank you for the follow Mary So I am going to quickly edit this team because I was using this to clear uh, some ma some stages in dark mode. So where's my phoenix feather? There we go. And um, you, shoot. I will emerge victorious. Let's try this. I keep getting thrown off and thinking this character is like female or feminine because the design is like very Bast inspired and Bast is a female uh, goddess in Egyptian mythos. I love how the little raven's eyes just kind of glow up like that. It's so cute. I just now noticed, oh, she holds the bell with her hair. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'll bet my on them. Cookies, please. Up the 
lands in our kingdom? It's simply not possible. Could they truly pass one of Cheese Cookie's tribes? Okay, come on. Let's get through this part. All right. Yeah, I think the last time I played through this section, we were very close to defeating the boss. Um, just like super, super close, but we like ran out of stamina jellies, so we couldn't like rematch him. Um, back then, uh. Sorbet Shark, I had him at, like, level 60-something. He's now uh, max level 75, and I have his magic candy ability unlocked. Yeah, I'm like super close. I think I'm gonna switch out. Uh... Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch out Clotted Cream for a defense. I was aiming for DPS. But I think I have enough DPS, I just need more defense or uh, charge. So if that doesn't work, I'll uh, mix it up with charge. And yeah, let's try this. So unfortunately I can't skip the dialogue. So I gotta like, oh yes, thank you. Thank you, fuck. I am boo with the fool for being like, yes, they're letting us skip the dialogue. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now we can save this feather for um the boss I want to use a fettuccine cookie but at the same time I don't know if she's ready if I have her ready to be used on the team yet yes there we go Exactly, Uno reverse card. You thought you could go ahead and skip the dialogue? Oh, you fool. <laughs> and it's like, god damn it. I fucking love Olive Cookie. I said this before and I'll say it again. I really love her character and I hope uh, we can like add her to our teams. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what the cookies of the golden cheese kingdom used it for. Ooh. Golden cheese kingdom was well known for a peculiar way of dealing with monsters and lawmakers. Whoever was so greedy they were deemed dangerous to society was sent here to be ta
became the entire kingdom. This place was called the Golden Cheese Coliseum. So, for those who don't know uh, what's going on, basically, so these two and the other three were all in the same group together as they're venturing out trying to find golden cheese and they got separated so it seems like the first group they kind of got sucked into like the matrix x uh metaverse of golden cheese's kingdom and now they're kind of like exploring the physical side of it What I find kind of interesting here, though, is, um, due to, like, its obvious inspiration from Egyptian culture and history and all that stuff, uh, the Colosseums, as far as I can remember from having studied, like, having to take art, uh, history classes for when I was still in college, um, and part of my curriculum involved having to read up on Egypt and its connections to Roman culture. Uh, the Colosseums was more of a Roman thing, but um, Rome, like ancient Rome and ancient Egypt, have a long history together. They have a lot of ties to one another, and even for. Uh, brief while there was like one era of ancient Egypt that was very very Roman influenced so it may be a nod to that I don't know you're under arrest for causing public disturbance within the walls of the royal golden cheese coliseum you will be detained for the duration of investigation Yes, um, I might be getting Greek mixed up with Roman, but basically, if I am remembering correctly, this is something you guys will have to double check and look up on your own, uh, when you get the chance, but basically, if I remember right, Cleopatra, I think, knew Julius Caesar, something like that. Um, but basically, needless to say, yeah, um, it was either the Greeks or the Romans that actually, more or less, for a while, worked alongside Egyptian, the Egyptians, and, um, it was, I think, known as the Hellenistic period of Egypt. So if you like look at sculptures and artwork from that time of ancient Egypt, a lot of it is very, very Mediterranean heavy in its appearance, and that's partially why. So, the more you know.
You're welcome. Yeah. Um, another interesting thing is the whole, con like the whole uh, association of gold to like Egypt and other countries, probably has to do partially with the fact that gold was, um, is is one of the several is one of the very old materials that we've used for years and years and years as uh humans and the reason why like gold has like survived all these years from um places like ancient egypt and ancient mesopotamia and the like is because gold doesn't really it it takes a lot for gold to really really be damaged beyond like recognition <laughs> It doesn't necessarily tarnish and it doesn't really no rust it gets dirty and all that stuff but like literally if you take good care of it or you try restoring gold a lot of it like some of the oldest works of gold can be restored to a certain degree and be recognizable <laughs> So Basically the types of metals they used is kind of the result of what was available to them in their uh region and what was basically the most durable at the time and it kind of kind of like shows how durable some of these metals were, so. I suspect there's something else at play. Could you do me a favor? I need a certain book from the Great Library. A book on the Golden City of the Golden Chief Keep. This is going to explain a lot. I'll meet you there. Uh, did I mention that we're in jail? <laughs> book please and it's like ma'am we're in jail <laughs> how are we going to receive this book oh the crows I love how she's like, I'm a proud mom of my bird children. Have you watched any? Yes, I have. A super long time ago. But I indeed have seen uh, the first one, and I believe I've seen the second one. I actually, the movies came out when I was like a very young teenager. The first one. Yeah, if for... That movie came out in 2007, and that was back when I was in middle school. Hey, Dum Dum, do you want some gum gum? Uh, no, 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 thank you. Me want gum gum. Oh my god. But also valid. Yeah, I'm I'm on the older end of the young adult spectrum. So. Oh, they're using noodles as a replacement for papyrus. So, what did Olive Cookie want us to find? A book about the Golden City. These books are arranged alphabetically. Let's start with the letter G. Sounds. Let's 
see what we have here. There are mysteries, guide to urban planning, and that perhaps greatest cheese platters or golden city. Huh. Where could this book be? Here, I found it. Look at the old city. We out here, <laughs> yeah, we we old people out here are not old old but getting there. <laughs> She's cute. Like, her design and her character is really adorable, like, in a scrunkly way. I love it. She's just, like, out here just being like, I'm a mummy. Boo. Yeah, I think that's real clever. The way, like the designs they come up for the cookies in this game, and the, the characters in these, this game's like really smart. Like T Knight's uh, armor is literally a T ball. I just want to make this comparison so clear because oh my gosh I I'm just like yes just one moment one moment I just want <laughs> hang on this is oh my god I am gonna quickly just pull this up uh, window capture I see no difference. I'm gonna lift up my floopy bird. I see no difference. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that. Let me return to the game. They just went. Yep, he's getting the crying cat emoji. For he's gonna get the crying cat meme as his uh distraught facial expression. Okay, let's do this. Do be do be do. Hang on. It really is beautiful. It's like, yes. So easy. Is this the 
Not in jail? No. Not at jail. I wonder when it's going to occur to them that they're in basically the Matrix. Oh my fucking lord, they had to make that reference! I saw a car that had stickers on the window. It was the one where the lady is yelling at the cat! Oh no! Poor kitty! I know what meme you're talking about, but oh! Poor kitty! Props to that person for putting that meme on their car. <laughs> Whoever edited, like, whoever was, like, their audio editor, um, I actually don't know what the proper name for the job position is, um, I like that they did a good job of remixing the voices, so they sound like old computer games, like old 2000 computer games, but they're not, like, annoying. Because I've seen, like, takes on, like, this effect, and they're just very grating and not fun to listen to. So I'm, I'm glad that um, their take on this is, like, just the right balance. What? Let's see here. Also, the sprite work is really clean. I like it. I've done some uh, sprite work myself. It's not easy. I actually should uh, pick up air, uh, do some more stuff with air sprite later. But pixel art's not easy to do, so they did a great job with this, I would say. This is a real, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm me being an art person and having like degree, like graduate with an art degree and everything. I'm just like, this is a really nice little gradient there. I'm sorry, I just noticed that. I'm like, oh, that's pretty. That's not always easy to accomplish where it's a smooth gradient. He's like, hey you! <laughs> I keep thinking of the gingerbread men from Shrek. I don't blame you. I think the same thing too. It'd be funny if like eventually they reference like the Shrek movie.
Oh, that's even... This is even cuter in sprite form. Oh my gosh. That expression. Okay, real quick, I am going to see who else I can level up. Doop a doop a doop. I really like her voice acting. It sounds really good. Um It reminds me a little of a uh, announcers from Team Fortress 2, but I know it's not TF2. I know it's not the announcer, though. And it even, like, says who it is on, um, the story section of the character. So I was right. Uh, before I started this chapter, I tried to keep as spoiler free as possible. And off the bat, based on what I just knew, I was like, oh, is this going to turn out to be something where um, it's basically the Matrix, but Egyptian? Because I was like, oh, are they going to have it where basically they go to the afterlife, the Egyptian version of the afterlife, but instead it's basically the Matrix and that's where they're going to talk to Golden Cheese. And I was more or less correct.
Oh god. Not Sans Undertale. Next stage. All right. Like they even had it where um, they meet uh, go Anubis, aka Burnt Cheese, earlier in the chapter, and uh, he goes ahead and has them go through his trials uh, via having their souls basically being weighed. And he's just like, all right, you guys can go. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they call him Burton Cheese. <laughs> I'm like, why you guys got to do a new piece of this? <laughs> um... I'm sure it is because they're all based off of food, so I'm sure there is a legitimate food called burnt cheese. That's literally burnt cheese. Um. <laughs> yes, they're dead. Or, okay, not dead per se, quote-unquote, they're not really dead, they're just matrixed. Or maybe they're gonna confirm that, yes, they are dead, except for, um, Golden Cheese. It's because <laughs> in a way that is so funny and smart. They're just like, yeah, so computer bugs, viruses, we're going to have them be represented by beetles here. Put your 
right? So we gotta go ahead and clear that. Oh, so we're almost done with this chapter. Com oh no, it's one of these. It's one of these chapters. <laughs> Uh, D and F. J. Hang on. Uh, one moment. I need to realign myself. Myself? Oh my god. Uh, okay, so here's D and F. J and K. Got it. I'll be shocked if I'll be able to, um, oops, J, oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm just like, oop, I am on the wrong keys. All right, try again. I was off by a key. And I am guilty of playing in the dark right now because my birds are trying to sleep. And I have a... Chickens, including rooster. So, I know he'll make a fuss if I. Shut! Hang on. Here we go. I live with my dad and we got wild chickens that come by. Oh, that's cool. I... Okay, got this. But yes, on this channel we have pet chickens. I've had them ever since they were like babies. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to get this. Whoop. There we go. There we go. Flubbed it a couple of times. Uh, not a couple of times, more like a few times, but still got through. <laughs> so here we go. Luckily, the puzzle moves here are pretty easy. Okay. So, getting this. Uh, 
Are you just gonna keep saying that? <laughs> okay, good. That was like repeated twice. I've named them Benedict, Flo, Harrietta, and Myrtle. Oh, that's cute. Are they like wild well, chickens that are feral? Like they uh, descend from a population of domesticated chickens? So they look like breeds you would find. They look like chickens people would own, but they're feral? Or are they like wild uh, jungle fowl? Like. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, the chickens I own, they're, um, I am Jumanis. So they're the ones that are all black. Yeah. Two blondes and one brunette. Well, I don't think so, Ginger Brave. Who else can govern the vast and abundant virtual world if not Golden Cheese Cookie? It's likely that she is still alive and crispy. Only her consciousness is connected to her imaginary realm. But her body really is inside. Oh, what must we do to meet her? This tomb was meant to be a place of final rest. To celebrate the end of a worldly life of astounding achievement, surrounded by treasures of lamenting servants. Yet, something forced Golden Cheese Cookie to come and confine herself in here all along. I must know why you built your virtual paradise. I must find out the truth! Ah, the first offering is mistaken! Are those memories from the Oh shit. Here we go. It can't be. The war is over. Dark Enchantress Cookie is no more. But so is my kingdom. Oh. My temples. My gold. My treasures. And my cookies. All of them. I lost everything. All that was dreaming, all that was mine, my water carriers, my servants, my builders and architects, all those little cookies who played on my streets. Mozzarella cookie, whose stories always made me laugh. No cheese cookie. We had our differences, but none cared for my kingdom as much as he. No cheese cookie. Crumble. Protecting my land. They all were my treasures. My finest, most precious treasures. Oh. No. I won't let them go. I call the riches I call mine. I shall never part with. Such is my desire. Never saw across the world. For time itself stands still. I shall create a kingdom. 
Oh shit. Yeah, this is where uh, having uh, fettuccine would come in handy, so I'm actually going to go ahead and try that. Because the new cookies that were added with these uh, two chapters, they're clearly designed for counteracting um, some of the features added uh, introducing these chapters with like the health degrading and everything so I am gonna try that actually first I want to see if I can upgrade her toppings so I'm gonna do that real quick Yeah, no, this is all I'm going to get from there, but I will... Move her, add her, and then burnt cheese. I'm going to hold off on. Let's try this. Yeah, my hopes are um, her ability is going to counteract the um, Oh god, we have to go through the angst scene constantly? No! No! <laughs> I can't believe that each time I lose this ma this one try this um one match I have to constantly like the game just goes ahead and goes all right we're gonna constantly like repeat God <laughs> Jesus trauma. <laughs>
I just now noticed this. Oh no, the poor baby. Oh no. Oh. I can't believe I didn't. Wait, no. This is the first time I used her in a match. So. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen this. <laughs> Just. Poor baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Again. So what I think I'm going to swap this out for is the monocle. Because the monocle uh, clears debuffs. Yeah, let's try this. Yeah, she does. The Fettuccine, you got volleyballed. Straight up. Let's try this. The only issue is the Phoenix Feather applies to, um, Golden Cheese. Even when the Sarcophagus, like, so it gets wasted on the Sarcophagus pop. So I might need to replace it with another item because the the um, reason why I have it there is for the other cookies because usually they go down faster than golden cheese but here it looks like that's not the case. Okay, let's... get that. Let's see here. What could I get? Um, I could upgrade Sorbet. I'll also check the uh, guild for potential draws to use to hopefully get more soul stones for her. So let me pull out my calculator because I want to get the exact number. 
50 minus 13, I'm pretty sure is 37. Yeah, 37. So I just need 37 of those. Boy. So now we can promote Sorbet. And that should help a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and play around with the other game modes to see if maybe I could get more experience points and other goodies to help with completing that trial. Here we go. Got that. I don't think there's anyone we can do a revenge battle with here. I'm just quickly combing through. Yeah, I'll just go through more of that later. Let's see, let's see, it's over here. I don't think I can progress through any more of this area for now. refresh let's try yes I'll take that actually I'll take this I will make oh, clear any stage thirty times, upgrade an epic topping five times.
Nope, nothing there. Nope, nothing there. Boink. Alright. I'm gonna produce more stuff. Let's see. How many of these do I need? Okay. I'll make a whole bunch of these guys. Yeah, I don't have enough for here. Actually, I can get some of these guys. Yeet. Anything in Era Busters I could maybe use? I'll take this. Thank you. play through this chapter right now. I think I will boom, 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 try getting more catnip coins. Edit. Move you. Yeah, you. Let's try this. So far, so good. Oh, shit. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Her literal defeat sprite just cracks me up. Poor thing. Let's try here. Because I do need to three star this. There we go, got that. Oh, 
Oh, nice. We're probably going to three-star this finally. I'll try this uh, composition on the next boss. Because I was str struggling with that level 2 or that trial. I don't know if they're called trial or solar levels or chapters. <laughs> I just know they exist and they're there and you have to play through them. Yeah, exactly. We finally got- I finally- That was finally completed. Oh my gosh, that was a hassle. The uh, summer soda fest levels are so difficult. Also, Shakaraka is fucking annoying. Okay. So I'm going to switch this out for the monocle to clear those debuffs. This is the longest I've survived in this match. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, I'm onto something. I just need to um, change out the treasures. Me thinks. Yeah, this seems to be helping more or less. Okay. We at least got um, some coins, Captain Coins. So I can actually get this. Yippee! Um, can I do anything here?
Are there any areas that I can clear? Let's see here. Get through this section, try to three star it. There we go. Shop. Can we get anything from the shop? I am gonna try. Let's see here. How many? Oh. Here we go. Can it? Fuck. Fine. 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 Where? Well, all right. No toppings to break down there. How long is... Okay, in about two-ish minutes. And if I go with this one, it will give me... I would like this one, but that's fine. Actually, here, let me check other chests. Um, but, 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 are there any with experience? I could go for that. If I wait just a couple more minutes. No, this is tempting. But they like take an hour, I think. An hour to charge. Like an hour per um, searing key, which is annoying. So I would love it if I could get more searing keys. Okay, let's see if we can um, get more soul stones and other goodies. All right. So we got some experience points, which is very helpful. Okay.
donate these. get these fulfill that Actually, okay, I need to do the saws. The saws! There we go, got those. And I just missed the timing of when you mentioned oh my. Was your oh my in response to like the level of the guild? Because yeah, I somehow got into a very high uh, level guild. <laughs> Like, I just got lucky. Because they have, like, everything already. They have all the, um, guild relics. And they're very high level, and... They just get a lot of shit done. <laughs> so it helps out a lot, and... It's only because of this guild I was able to get um, cream puff. A I really respect? I'll introduce you someday. Actually, let's see. Can I do some time jumping with the uh, Cookie Alliance? Oh my god, look at her being just a scrunky, scrunky little thing. She's just there. What do you do? Oh, hang on. Well, I can't see you behind the trees, damn it. Okay, here, water, um, water this plant instead. Look at her watering! Oh, so there's like little hidden secrets I've added through this kingdom. Um. <laughs> uh, such as committing arson. You know, just normal things that are happening in the kingdom. No issues to worry about here. And being sus. Oh my god, Mala, holy fuck, chill woman. She she's like going like sonic speed. Holy shit. Okay, so I can expand that area now. I think I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, by their scruff. Yeah, it, it looks so much like that. There's a couple that are like that. 
Um, trying to remember which ones. But yeah, there's Fettuccine, he does that. And then there's like, I want to say it's uh, Strawberry Crepe who does it, but like in a horrified manner. Like they are terrified of being picked up. You, I'm going to switch you out. Um, do work. So if you pick up, he <laughs> just horror, just absolute terror. It's like, yeah. Oh, I forgot I have the little Dougie here. Wait, can I pick you up? I oh, yes. She's just happily ha hanging on to your tail. And I heard you can put affogato in water now. No, I want to put him in the fucking water. Is this true? Or was I lied to? Was I lied to? No. <laughs> I was lied to. You can't put him in the water. I want to drop you in the water because you say politics is like a fish or I mean I was close there I guess that's the closest you'll get He's just like, yep, this is my life now. <laughs> he just dangles there. Whee! Okay. What if I pick you up? You're taking out kind of well. All right, sir. Hi. Hang on. I love when you pick caviar cookie up. It's just there vibing. It's so good. Also, I don't know if we have a uh, beach ball, volleyball yet. It'd be awesome if they added one. Um,
No, I don't think there is one. No, because we need those lanterns. My star. Well, that's a long story. I'm gonna try this one more time and then probably call it a night here. Cause I think I've hit a point as of right now where I can't do much to I love what more cookies. I think that's gonna be the determining factor on uh, getting through more of these levels. Thank you. I will do my best. Hopefully I can uh, get through, make my progress on this part. But definitely um, when I stream again, when I stream this, excuse me, when I stream this game again, um, it will definitely be after I level up more cookies and get more stuff done. So we'll be able to like, progress further into chapter 18 because we're so close it's just this one boss fight I'm probably uh, actually I was about to be, be like, I'm probably not going to stream this section instead just stream straight into chapter 18 so you guys don't have to keep seeing the same loop over and over again. But um, I actually might go ahead and like, if I feel like I can defeat this boss, I'll, that's when I'll stream uh, more Cookie Run Kingdom. Just to save you guys having to see constant repeats of this level, but at least so you guys can see the rest of chapter 17. Yeah, right now Golden Cheese is going down faster than everyone, so that Phoenix Feather gets wasted, which is annoying. So I may have to change up her build so she's bulkier. Yeah, what I'm probably going to have to do is I'm going to have to level up more cookies. I will have to um, increase the magic candy power of Sorbet and Cream Puff. And, um, I'm gonna have to change some of the layouts, so, like, I think I'm gonna have to give Golden Cheese, um, yeah, a damage resist one. So I'm gonna do that. Actually, hang on. Don't I have... Oh, yeah, I have... Plenty. Why was I not doing this earlier? 
attack speed, crit, claim five. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to change that out. You remove, equip, equip, equip. My hopes are doing this will help her out a lot. Um, Cause she is pretty sturdy compared to some of the other characters I have, but on some bosses she does end up getting her like coffin ability activated earlier than what I want, so. I'm gonna go ahead and give her that and see if that changes things. Um, I think I gave almond re like damage resist to. Oh no, I gave uh gave her attack increase and the cooldown because I didn't want that to go to waste. So I'm gonna go ahead and claim five of these. And I'm gonna put it as a secondary one. Cause she, she, so Fettuccine and uh, Golden G's I've noticed can be both very tanky. Um. She's literally a sponge. So she'll take up a lot of damage. And this is kind of more like damage control because I don't want her coffin to pop early on certain uh, matches. Otherwise, I just prefer this or um, once I get the third one unlocked. I'm probably going to give her a cooldown build. The reign of darkness will end at the hands of the Republic. No, I'm actually going to give you a damage resist here because you go down annoyingly fast. Um, Like, girl, I don't know what to tell you other than you're dead. I'm sorry. Where is my Paji? It's like, well, you're dead and you're in the Matrix. That's uh, two things. Um, but your body, that's a third thing. And that third thing is something I don't know anything about. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I can prioritize what gets produced here. So I just want those guys. I'll show you a local hidden gem. 
Anything here that I can do? Alright. Stamina jellies, extra topping presets. Yeah, I need to get more compasses and uh, more pillars. Or I can just buy them. Screw it, let's buy them. Refresh this. Go against them! <laughs> All right. There we go. Got them out. I'm gonna fight you guys. I might lose this match though. <laughs> but who knows, maybe I can strong arm them. I was able to strong arm them. Nice. Just by a hair though, but hey, I was able to do it. You know what? I'll try. Since I can't defeat this match, I'm gonna quickly at least try clearing out a couple of these. Here we go. Yes! Nice, we got that three star in. Which means more crystals. Yeah, we're bugging. We're getting through this, which is great. Come on, come on. Get that three star in. Ooh. Oh, mm. Damn it. Yeah, that bug. 
feature, like the little bug thing, it it really wipes out your team so fast if you're not careful. So let's try this again. There we go, now we got it. And I think that will do it for tonight, because I got pretty much everything that I could do on stream done. Um, but like I said, I'll stream this game when I feel like I can do more on stream with this game. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my outro. Um, I... Do you normally have music and everything playing during stuff like this, but it's not working right now? No problem. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll try seeing if I can do something in celebration to forward this channel hitting 250 subscribers. Tomorrow I'll be streaming Identity 5. Um... But since tomorrow is also Halloween, I will have to determine if I want to do it late, late at night or earlier in the day. Um, but my area these days normally doesn't get that many trick-or-treaters, so I may actually just stream it during my usual 7 p.m. PST. I will have to see. Um... But, yeah, I'll try getting OBS fixed up so all the sound effects and everything are working properly again because there's some sound effects and, and music and bells and whistles messing. Um, I'll work more on progressing through Cookie Run Kingdom so I can stream Chapter 18 for you guys. I am also going to prepare to start vending or like doing artist alley stuff at upcoming local events because I do want to make some income uh, and try financially supporting myself that way so I'll do start doing art streams where I stream myself doing artwork especially uh, any involving the creation of new merch so you know be on the lookout for that I also want to get some coffee goals set up so people can subscribe to my coffee much like you will with patreon and you know get nice little goodies that way for supporting the channel but with that said i'll head out here and i'll say y'all later all right thank you for stopping by and have a wonderful day Bye bye